All right, so here's what's up. Third grade, all right? In third grade, I have this teacher, and we'll just call her Miss Blue, or Miss B for short, all right? I'm gonna give a little, like, description of this teacher because it's important, just so you kind of get the kind of fear that I felt. So, third grade starts, all right? We have this teacher, Miss B, all right? She's one of the three of the third grade teachers that my class has. Now, she was a very young teacher, okay? And as a kid, she was so pretty to me and gorgeous, and she still is. Like, she's a very pretty person. As a kid, I was mesmerized by her. <gasps> and as an idiot child, I was thinking, she must be so sweet and nice and understanding, and she must care about us so much. Wrong! All I remember from that year was fear. All right, this teacher was terrifying. And just to get an image in your head, she had she had short brown hair that was cut kind of straight. Um, you know, she was about to ruin you financially if she needed to. And she had these eyes, all right? These eyes were so blue and icy. Like, she was the ice queen. And every time she looked at you, she was shooting daggers at you. Anyways, one third grade day, we come into class, and our teacher is raging she is pissed okay those eyes of hers have got ice daggers to our necks somebody decided to be a smart ass and stick the eraser end of their pencil into the brand new electric sharpener this was not about to fly with miss b and she demanded that whoever done it own up but no one did now this was just our class of the third grade classes it could have been anybody from any of the third grade classes because at that time different teachers would teach different subjects and we would rotate between classes and then at the end of the day we would go back to homeroom and Miss B was our homeroom. Obviously it was one of us, her homeroom students, the ones she spends the most time with and trusts and loves and cares about, you know. Her tactic to get us to confess was no recess till we found a culprit, which meant we got to sit outside against a brick wall while she glared at us for like 30 minutes. Now, this happens for a couple recesses. No one was confessing. And as little snitches, we start blaming the naughtier kids of our class. It's not them. Can't figure it out. Eventually, I tell my dad about this. I, I'm mad, okay? I really just want recess back. We all want recess back. And as his little angel, my dad was going to try and help me get recess back. He said that he would contact the parents of some of my friends, some of the people that I knew, that he knew, and maybe talk to them and try to figure out which way they should go about this. That's what he told me. I don't actually know what happened behind the scenes. Next day, my class as a whole, we go into the classroom in the morning to a very distraught Miss Blue. <laughs> One of y'all's parents just called and chewed my ass over recess, so I guess you guys have it back. And after that, we had recess. Now I knew it was my dad, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> he probably was a little mean to her, probably. Now, I felt a little bad that my dad had upset her this much, but secretly I was thinking, Oh hell yeah! Alright, well, we get fucking recess back, this is amazing! And honestly, I didn't care that she was upset. I mean, she could have just given recess back to the ones that obviously didn't do it. And I wouldn't find out who it was until high school, till the girl who did it told me that she did it. And ironically enough, this girl wasn't even in our class. A uh, little disclaimer again, uh, Miss B is a pretty cool person, I think. I mean, I don't know her. And ever since third grade, I've always been scared of her, even in high school, even now. She terrifies me, but I'm sure she's a great person. 